Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, import a custom image into World of Warcraft using either Weakors or another add-on that allows you to uh, grab images from the directory, from a directory. Today I'm going to be using the Warlock Crest. This is the World of Warcraft Warlock Crest. It's You can get it uh, on WoW Wiki, along with all the other crests, like the Druid Crest. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open with Photoshop. You can also edit it with GIMP, either one. GIMP is a free version of Photoshop that's just a little less powerful. So here's the image. Uh, some things you may want to do, you may want to clean up these edges a bit. You may want to clean up the little effects on the top or anything that looks out of place. But as it's going to be this big, you're not going to notice much of it. So it's not going to be a problem. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open a new image. You're going to want to title it whatever you want. I will name it Crest Warlock. Um, a custom preset, obviously. Width is going to be a power of 2, so 64, 128, 256, etc, etc, and you're going to want to make sure it's on pixels. Resolution can be 72 pixels per inch. You want to make sure it's in RB, RGB color scale. 8-bit uh, you can do, I think you can do anything, although 8-bit serves the purpose is fine. You want a white background, although you can do any background, but it's it just adds an extra step. So you're going to want to click OK. It's going to come up over here, right here. This is our little circle. And so then you're going to want to take the magic wand tool and click on, make sure you clicked on this image and then control click. And as you see, it selects uh, a fair amount of it. It doesn't select all of it. And you can go through and select all these pixels using the box, the box tool right here. For example, I'll select these ones. I won't go through and do it all, but as you can see, you can select. Oh yeah, you can select these. But for the most part, it gets most of the pixels, as you can see. So we're gonna. After you select that, you're going to want to use the Move tool, and you can now drag that selection over onto this image. And I like putting it back to full screen. And so now you have this image in here. It doesn't need to be center. It doesn't need to do anything. Um, you don't need to snap it into a corner or something. You just need to make sure none of the pixels are off of the canvas because they won't be imported into the game if they are. So what you want to do is do the same thing, select the magic wand tool or any of the selection tools. Click control, select this. This time it left out these parts, but that's okay. And then you're going to want to go to channels. And so this is where the colors are in case you're curious. So blues, greens, reds, and then this is all of them. And so you're going to want to click on this button down here, which is just a new channel. And it's going to create an alpha 1 channel. And it's going to be black. And this black channel, what this black channel does is it tells the game which parts are going to be opaque and which parts are going to be transparent. So you're going to take the bucket tool and you're going to if you you selected all the inside of this, so I'm gonna make it all white, right? And see how it automatically does these fade out for you. I'm not sure if it does that on GIMP, but it does it for this. So perfect. And see how I messed that up a bit. So now it doesn't show nice and faded, but you can select as much as you want. And so these parts that are gray will be partially transparent. The parts that are white won't be transparent at all, and the parts that are black will be fully transparent. 
so you won't have any backgrounds here and you will have only this image showing and to get it back to showing you just do the red green blue and this is I don't know why it does red but it does so then you can deselect and this is the other important part you're gonna want to save as and you're gonna want to save it somewhere that you know so I'm gonna save it on my desktop and you wanna want I'm gonna save it as Crest Warlock and you need to save it as a Targa file TGA file that's because World of Warcraft only recognizes TGA files and another type of file I don't remember but you can't save it into that other type of file without using a, another uh, application so you're gonna want to save 32 bits pixel you can close out of this yes because what I did there is um, I saved it as a Targa so now I want to save it as a uh, one second file save as and now you want to save it as a, a Photoshop just so in case you want to uh, edit it some more so now I have the Crest Warlock and the Crest Warlock in Targa so what you're going to want to do go to computer operating system So whatever your main hard drive is, all right, and then program files 86 World of Warcraft. So just go to your World of Warcraft folder wherever it's saved, and then interface. And in here, they won't. There won't be these. Sorry, it'll just be this, right? Just your add-ons folder. Go in your interface folder. So in this folder right here, take this and put it here, right? Crest Warlock, and then you can close it. I'm going to put it on the other screen so I can see it. But you can just close it. See? Go ahead and open World of Warcraft. Log into a character. I will log into uh, my priest. Why not? Menu you can go, I'm going to use Weakors to import it, but you can use any add-on that allows you to do what I'm going to show you. So any add-on that, you can name it anything you want, any add-on that allows you to open things from a directory here and allows you to import textures. So if you can import any of these textures, or any of the beams, or any of the shapes, or runes, or PvP emblems, or icons, then this should work perfectly fine. So what you're going to want to do is type right here, backslash, backslash, interface, because that's where you saved it, backslash, and if you wanted to save it on this thing, if you wanted to save it in the add-ons folder, you could. You could just save it, and it'll be you know somewhere in here but I like saving it in the interface folder because it's simpler and what you do is right here you type either if you save it in the add-ons folder you type in add-ons and then you do slash again or backslash or if you saved it in the interface you can save it or you can type crest warlock as that's what I saved it as TGA and here it is it's imported it has a little white line around it because of that alpha, the alpha channel, the one that was white and black. But if you mess around with it a bit, it won't do that. See, as you see, this is uh, since it was grayed out on the alpha channel. This is more invisible than the rest of it. But that's how you import images. You can mess around with it, do whatever you want. Everything in this works perfectly fine. I can put a trigger 
for angelic feathers. Angelic feathers. Feather. Own only. Right. And when I angelic feathers, it pops up. Just like any other weak aura. You can use you can I you can use it as a progress texture if you'd like. It works exactly the same as any. So thank you for watching. Uh hope this was helpful. And I hope to make more.